probability of randomly picking a ball. A bag contains five red balls, three blue balls and two green balls. Find the following probability of picking a red ball which we can also write as probability of picking red ball P bracket R. A blue or red ball that is probability of blue or red ball. So this is a short way of writing the same thing. So in this question we'll try to understand how to find probability of picking up a ball from the given set of balls, right? So what we have here is five red balls. Let me draw just random five red balls, right? Let's say these are one, two, three, four, and one, five red balls. And then we have three blue balls. Let's say a bag contains these three blue balls. And then we have two green. So let's say these are the two green balls, right? So in all, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So total number of outcomes basically are 10, correct? So we say that the number of outcomes, this is like number of outcomes. All possible outcomes are just add them up. That means we are doing 5 plus 3 plus 2 and we get 10. So that is the total number of outcomes, right? So when we say that we are randomly picking a ball, that means you can imagine that in a bag which in which we cannot see, all these balls are mixed up. And you just put your hand there and pick one ball. So that is randomly picking up a ball, right? And now the question is, find the probability of picking a red ball. So what is the probability of picking a red ball? So say, well, probability of picking a red ball means, we'll write like this, probability of picking a red ball is what are the favorable chances of red balls? We say number of red balls over total number of balls, right? Over total number of balls, right? So that is what is going to give us probability of picking red ball, right? Total number of balls are actually total outcomes. In this case, it is 10. And as you can see here, number of red balls are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Already given in the question, it is 5. So we can say 5 is possibility of picking up or favors red, right? And out of total of 10. So that gives us answer of 1 over 2 or 50%, right? So probability of picking up red ball from this set of balls is 50% or half. So these are the two answers which you could write. Now let's look into the next question. And the next question is a blue ball or red ball. That means we have a choice. You could pick either a blue ball or a red ball. So there are two things which you could pick from. That means not green, right? So, so let's see how to solve this particular part of the question, which says probability of picking up a blue ball or a red ball or means and add probability of picking blue ball or red ball that means your chances of picking has improved right is much more so let's figure out how to do these kinds of questions as you can see we can write what is the probability of picking red ball we know it is 1 over 2 or 5 out of 10 let's write 5 over 10 first what is the probability of picking a blue ball? So how many blue balls are there? 3. Out of how many? 10. So 3 out of 10. Now the thing is, what is the probability of picking either a blue ball or a red ball? That means our chances have increased, right? So we should get a higher chance of picking up a ball, right? In that case, so probability of picking this or that is basically sum of these two. You add them up to get your answer. So it's probability of picking a blue ball plus probability of picking the red ball, which in our case will be 5 over 10 plus 3 over 10. That is 8 over 10, right? So that is 8 over 10. You can always simplify this and write it in fractions or you can give probability in percent also. If you want to give probability in percent, you can multiply them by 10. So this answer could
could be written in two ways. One way is to write this as 80%. How do we get 80%? You can multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. Then you get 80 over 100. And that is percent, 80%, correct? So we get 80 80%. Or you can write it in fractions. I can divide both by 2 and write this as 4 out of 5. So the probability of picking a red ball or a blue ball is 80% or 4 out of 5, right? That is the probability. Now, a question for you. Question for you is, what is the probability of picking a green ball? And how can you find it from this answer? Well, if probability of picking blue or red is 80%, then green should be equals to 100 minus 80. That means 20%. Do you see that? Or 1 minus this number 8 over 10. That is another way of doing it, right? Or how many green balls are there? 2. So we could say 2 out of total number is 10 which is 20 percent do you see that so from here we learn that we can also find probability of something which has not happened from what which has happened right because total sum of probabilities will always be one right so that is how we can find probability of something which has not happened also since sum of all the three should be one so the question is, what is the probability of having green? That is, not having blue or red, right? So you can get answer from the previous question. That's one way of doing it also, right? Anyway, what you learned here is, if we randomly pick up something from a stack or a group of items, then the probability of picking that item is just the ratio of favorable the number of items which favors it to the total number of outcomes, right? And you can get straight answers. Second, if you are considering picking up this or that, then the probabilities get add up, right? Because there are more chances of getting both the things, right? One at a time or either of the two. So whenever it is either of the two, the probabilities get add up, right? Now, in, in the next video, we will also see cases where we are picking two balls and then we'll continue with examples where so what we have discussed here is a simple probability where we are doing one thing at a time that is we're just picking one ball and these are called simple events now we will also see some events where they'll be called compound events compound means more than one thing happening now, we'll take a few examples where we'll pick up one ball and then the other and try to figure out the probability of finding or picking those balls. That is going to be more interesting. Thank you and all the best.